we are weekend sailors. During the week, we work to finance our hobby. Behind the nice videos of boat sailing, there is each week preparation we keep repeating weekend after weekend for the last 20 years. This is our weekly routine. Most of our sailing trips are two or three days long, and everything starts at home. We usually leave on Friday night, or Saturday early morning. Maribel will start packing what we need in terms of food and drink. To limit the number of items we need to bring each week, the boat is always stocked with non-perishable ingredients. We only have to bring fresh food, and replace our supplies. Lechuga, tomatito, maíz y cebolleta. Eso para cena. Eh, para el mediodía he puesto el chorizo, salchichón, todo eso, más la sopita que va por ahí. Y hay que coger el pan. Ah, y la cosa del desayuno, mierda. La cosa del desayuno. Preparing all the food and other items such as clothing will typically take us 30 minutes. To make sure we don't forget anything, we maintain an inventory list with what we have on board. Before leaving the boat, we update the list to know what to bring next time. Also, even if we travel short distances, we always make sure we have on board two or three days of extra food and clothes. Bad weather happens, and it is more comfortable to wait out with a full belly. Uh. Y esto, hecho como esto, yo creo que con esto tenemos. Está bien. When everything is packed, it is time to prepare our two pets. Animals are a lot of work at home, but even more in a boat. We have one dog and a cat. The cat is the most problematic to convince. Both of our animals enjoyed the boat, especially Maya, who loves to roam on the beach and explore new places. Molly prefers the warm commodity of the cabin, and is in charge of keeping rodents at bay. We spent about one hour packing, and it is now time to go to the boat. Here in Washington, the marina is only 25 minutes away from home. In Florida, we had to travel two hours and a half each weekend making the commute much more painful. Finding a suitable place is not always easy, and is something to take into consideration before buying. Once in the marina, we repeat the operation and unload everything from the car. As almost everywhere, the marina provides carts to move the provisioning to the dock. In less than 20 minutes, all the goods are on board. It is now time to order them. One of the challenges in any boat is to find things quickly, organization and orders are keys. One of the big advantages of our Island Packet 32 is the space available for storage. We can stock food and goods for three weeks. Our autonomy is mainly defined by the quantity of water available. Without a water maker, we need to store extra water on the deck for longer navigations. Even for a few days sailing, it is important to correctly prepare the boat. The first step is to fill the water tank. We have a capacity of 85 gallons or 320 liters. For these short navigations, we love the commodity of a hot shower at night. As we do not have any seawater intake, 
or our water needs will be supplied by the water tank. Installing a salt water pump for dishes and other usages is part of the upgrades we would like to do. Diesel is one of the tasks I handle on a weekly basis. We usually use the engine in the marina and to enter the anchorage. That would be 30 to 45 minutes per trip. Since we have a sailboat, we put the engine as a last resort when our speed is under 2 knots. Because of our small diesel consumption, I fill the tank myself. Our marina does not have any gas station and I would need to travel to another marina to do so. The trip, the docking, the filling would be another 30 minutes that I rather spend on the water. Even if we don't use that much the engine, I perform a quick visual check each week. I will check the coolant and the oil and try to identify any possible leaks. In the past, we had a coolant leak and I had to add some extra to keep the tank full. Ah, no, no viene de ahí, está bien. Esta vez está bien, está lleno. Perfecto. ¿No es agua? No, no. Digo ahí abajo. No, eso yo creo que es de la otra vez. Perfecto. Es decir, esta vez no ha perdido líquido ninguno. The next step is to remove the sail cover. As soon as I undock, I like to be able to quickly hoist the sail in case of emergency. This is the type of precaution that can save your boat in case of engine failure. It is also much easier to perform these tasks in the marina. Our sail cover is old and it is another item we need to upgrade. El año que tapó un chinchín mío mío. Bueno, bueno, tan viejo no puede ser, pero... Connecting our navigation no. instruments is the next task. Our chart plotter and wind instruments are removable and sirve? need to be installed each time. It is a quick operation we do in a few minutes. Our boat is equipped with old instruments but that still covers our needs. For larger offshore sailing in a few years, we are planning a major upgrade including the installation of an AS. For the moment, electronics are mostly a commodity. We also have all the paper charts we need in case of a problem. We are at this point almost ready to go. The last step would be to open the water intake and start the engine. I also check that the steering wheel is unblocked, that the engine water pump is working properly, and that the propeller is free on any lines. Maribel will check that the power line is off and the deck is clear for departure, as she is responsible for handling the lines. Oh, a la primera. We are now off for seven to ten hours sailing depending on the wind speed and direction. Usually, we will travel between 15 and 25 nautical miles each day. Over 2 knots speed, we will keep sailing, keeping the engine for extreme cases when we have no wind at all. Navigation can be very relaxing and comfortable or relatively rough. That day the weather forecast was announcing 10 to 15 knots. In the strait, we had gusted 20 plus and we took one reef for commodity. Took a reef. One reef. I think I'm gonna put everything again. The, the wind is going down a little bit.
We will typically arrive at our destination beginning of the evening. We will grab a mooring buoy or drop the anchor for the night. Depending on the place and the season, we sometimes have to look for a spot or travel to a different anchorage. That day we were very lucky, as we were arriving, another boat was leaving his mooring buoy. La bajada del dinghy. Our first activity is to lower the dinghy to go offshore. After over 10 hours at sea, Maya can't wait for a walk on the beach. It is as well for us the opportunity to explore or just enjoy a place we already know. As weekend sailors, time is our main constraint. We will usually take three weeks off in summer for longer travels or long weekends when it is possible. The rest of the time our window goes between Friday night and Sunday night. Lowering, preparing, and loading the dinghy is always tiresome. Our boat does not have a swimming platform and lowering Maya is always an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't mean it cannot be fun. Necesitamos motor. Sí, y alguien que rime, que reme con más frío. We do not have any engine for our dinghy so we do it old style, rowing. Behind me, you can see our boat, Wind Waker. This time we were lucky and not too far from the beach. It is not always the case. Americano, comemos hamburguesa, comemos hamburguesa, comemos hamburguesa, sí, americano. When everything is done, it is time for dinner. One of the most relaxing moment of the weekend. Good food, good wine, and of course a bit of rum before a good night of sleep. The next day starts early with a good breakfast. It is time to plan the day. In today's menu, we have to fix the autopilot and prepare the boat for the day sailing. But before all that, it is coffee time with the company of a group of seals. These moments are what make cruising so magic. Yesterday we we broke the autopilot. It was 20 knots when we left, and this is supposed to go against the the pole of the wheel, and it broke. So we're gonna try to fix it today. Que lo coge con la rueda y se fija ahí. Y yo creo que es todo el problema ahora y ir a ponerlo los tornillos. Los tornillos, porque no. After performing our reparation, it is time to leave the anchorage. With the very light wind, we are expecting a long trip back to the marina. Hasta
esta hora hemos hecho una medida de dos nudos. ¿eh? Hay un poco de viento. Lo que pasa es que tenemos una corriente de dos nudos y medio, tres nudos contra nosotros. Así que es lento. Ahora avanzamos dos nudos más o menos. Ahí está la, la buedra, la punta de, de los arrecifes que vamos a, de, a dejar los 20 minutos hoy. Después de 4 o 5 horas peleando contra el viento, que no había la corriente, por fin tenemos viento. No mucho, 7 8 nudos, pero ya avanzamos a 5 nudos. Así que, por fin avanzamos. Nos queda 7 o 8 millas para llegar, digamos, 2 horas de, de navegación. We usually come back to the marina end of the afternoon or the beginning of the evening. At that point, we realize the weekend is over, work is waiting for us the day after. However, before leaving, we need to let the boat in good condition. This includes basic cleaning of the cabin and the deck, cover the sail, instruments, etc., that would typically take us one hour. Once a month we perform a more complete cleaning that would take two hours. Once the boat is ready, it is time to go back home. We are usually tired, but always happy about our weekend adventures. We now have to wait the next weekend. El gatito. Mira, están mirando a la cara. 